Good morning. Welcome to the Battles Within. We're continuing our study in John chapter 6. And today we're going to look at verse 22 through 27. So let's go ahead and read verse 22 through 27. It says, And the day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save that one whereinto the disciples had were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that the disciples were gone away alone. Verse 23, in parentheses, he says, Howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias, nigh unto the place where they did eat bread after that the Lord had given thanks. Close parentheses. Verse 24 said, When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. When they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, You seek me not, because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves, and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. Okay, so this is the group of people. Remember, they had just got through seeing the miracles, had been fed. They wanted to make Jesus king, and all of a sudden he disappeared. And they were watching for him to make sure they know where he was, and they saw the disciples leave without him, but the next day they get up and look around, they can't see him anywhere. So perceiving that he had already left to the other side, they get on boats and they travel to the other side, heading toward Capernaum. Well, when they get there, they say, how did you get here? How, how did you get here? We saw your disciples leave without you, but how did you get here? <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> they were still wanting to make him king. They were still trying to talk him into becoming king. That's why Jesus never had that desire, because that wasn't his purpose in life. So he goes on and says uh, that uh, 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 Jesus said to them here in verse um, 26, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. See, these men wanted more food. They wanted more of that food. Can you imagine the food of Jesus? Yeah, he took the fish and the loaves, and they had their fill. They ate and they were full. These men probably hadn't been full in a long time. Uh, labor not for the meat which per perisheth, but for that meat which endureth to everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. He said, don't spend all your time and worrying about food in this lifetime, but spend your time doing something for God. See, the key is focusing on God, not on food. Food will come and go. All of us eat too much food here in America, or most all of us here, in the way I do for sure. But that's all we mean, folks. We need to fill our lives with the Holy Spirit, fill our lives with reading God's Word. It's not an easy thing. We want to do other things, watch TV or just rest, what I call mindless fodder sometimes. And there's not really anything wrong with that, but, but we make sure that it says, Labor not for the meat which prepares us. Verse 28, Then said they unto him, What shall we do, that we might work the works of God? What do you want us to do then, he said. Jesus said unto them, Uh, Hold on, I jumped ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, you seek me not because you have the, the miracles, but because you eat the bread. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that which the meat which endureth forevermore, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. So we see that the key is the Holy Spirit fills us with God's Word, with God's Spirit. He is what fills us, keeps us from being hungry. We we can hunger and thirst after righteousness, but we will be filled. Because he who hungers and thirsts after righteousness will be filled. The Bible promises that. Righteousness, we can learn about God through his word. We're going to see a little later that Jesus is talking about the word of God and being the bread of life, being one and the same, and that he is the bread of life. But not today. So we have time for today. Let's close in our prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for the opportunity we have. We can study your word. I pray right now that you would let us... Uh, uh, not be so mindful on earthly things that we can't focus on heavenly things. I thank you, Lord, for all you do for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you again for your time and your attention today.